Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. I want to go to the Wasatch first. This is solitude where it continues to snow quite uh, heavily. Uh, reporting about a foot of snow in the last 24 hours up in Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. I think you could see up to another 8 inches between today and tomorrow. Uh, Brighton and solitude, Alta, Snowbird. It's going to be a powder day today and a powder day tomorrow. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. So still looking at a total of four storm systems through 4-2 now. Um, with the first storm underway, that's what's been snowing from the Sierra into Idaho, uh, now snowing into Utah and uh, also Colorado and Wyoming. You can see the timeline here for additional snow with these storm systems through the Sierra, the Tetons, the Wasatch, Colorado, and then up into the northeast as well. But for example, in the Wasatch, again, snow today, snow tomorrow, snow on the 26th, and then heavy snow coming in with another storm, 328, 29, and moderate 331 and 41. So we've got a lot of snow yet to go in this forecast. I want to take you back and show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. So on this, your moisture aloft is in your whites and your blues and there's our current storm system pushing that moisture through Utah, Wyoming, and into Colorado. So that's what's going to be moving through. It's actually going to dive down towards southeast Colorado and spin up into an area of low pressure. And behind it, look at this moist flow. This is all part of the jet. Look at this coming in. That's a nice little feature right there. So you've got a big storm system right here, another one behind it. So all of this is lined up through 4-2. In fact, here's the latest jet forecast by end of the business today. You can see the big trough sitting over the Intermountain West supporting the current storm system. By tomorrow, it's the same kind of thing. The low would have dove down into southeast Colorado. There's another low coming in behind it. That'll keep the snow going through the Intermountain West between 325 and 326 as well. Um, and then there's another storm system. Um, here that goes. That mainly goes across the northern tier. Here comes storm number four approaching California. This one will be a potent storm, and it's going to go even further to the south um, and lay down some very heavy snows. So we've got four storms. Let me show you the forecast radar and satellite. So there it is by 5.30 this afternoon. You've got snow in Colorado, snow in northern New Mexico, snow in the Wasatch Tetons. Um, rain in Denver initially, but that changes to snow tonight into tomorrow morning, and then that dives away. And we're going to see some heavy snow through parts of northern New Mexico over the next 48 hours. Here comes the next storm system. That goes mainly across the northern tier. Here comes the fourth storm system right here into California. And then that moves into the southern tier with a nice shot of snow for Colorado, parts of Utah, and northern New Mexico. And then that storm is gone. And then we're into some high pressure ridging right here uh, beyond 4-2. So here are my latest uh, grand totals. So by late 4-2, looking at feet of accumulation in places, one to two feet in the Tetons, one to three feet in the Wasatch, in Colorado, one to three feet, with 10 to 20 along I-70 north and south of I-70. Down into the southern mountains, we could see up to three feet of accumulation. And look at northern New Mexico, um, anywhere from two to two and a half feet of accumulation. We'll just call it two feet. Ski Santa Fe, Angel Fire, and Taos, um, and then potentially a couple of feet through Tao down into Mammoth. All right, let me break it down by time period. So today through tomorrow, again, up to eight inches of additional accumulation in Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons, two to six up there in the uh, the Tetons, and in Colorado, big numbers south of I-70, but along I-70 north, six to 12 inches of accumulation. And look at northern New Mexico. You could get a foot and a half out of this storm system alone. Okay, next time period is 326 to 328, some light additional snows through Colorado, um, but that third storm would go across the northern tier, laying down 6 to 10 for the Tetons, and uh, 5 to 12 potentially across the Wasatch, and you can see the numbers up in the Pacific Northwest, about 8 to 12 inches. Okay, final time period. So this is 329 through 42, potentially a foot or more from Tahoe down to Mammoth with that final storm, and maybe another foot so each time period has like a foot across Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. In Colorado, 4 to 10, I-70 north, and potentially a foot down in the southern mountains, and another 5 to 10 across northern New Mexico. What a stretch for northern New Mexico. Uh, up into the northeast, very light snow accumulations here, about 1 to 2, maybe 1 to 3 inches. And there's only a couple of shots of light snow in the extended forecast, and that's probably going to do it. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map here for this morning. You can see the numbers, the ones that stand out. 
Tahoe down to Mammoth, Colorado, the Wasatch, and the Tetons. All right, guys, have a great day. Always appreciate you tuning in here.